that when I first saw him, uh, I made a fool of myself. <laughs> I first went there and uh, as soon as I saw him, huh, in the Madras, huh? All the South Indians are called Madrasis. <laughs> Madrasa, Tamil, he speaks in, speaks in Tamil. Immediately he knew I'm a Tamilian, so he speaks. Madrasa, come on. Ah, wanga, 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 wanga. Come, 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 come. Hmm. Huh. You have come to see me? <laughs> yes, sir. Uh-huh. Huh. Okay, uh, we'll talk after this. Kurunga, kurunga, coffee, kurunga, idli, kurunga. Coffee, sorry. Madrasthane, Ama. Kaag Sapra Valakindane, Ama. Pinnanna, come on. You are from Madras, you are used to coffee, then why worry, come on. Yeah. Swamiji, you wrote that coffee, tea, snow. That's all right for the book. Yeah. You have just come, you can slowly get into all those problems now. Have a cup of coffee. Because Madras is without coffee, is impossible, no? <laughs> <laughs> then after the coffee, I was sitting there. Ha. Huh. Okay, tell me a little about you. Just nothing to say. I'm just a, a humble seeker, I'm moving around. And I heard of Oh, you, you heard about me? Oh, yes, Swamiji. So you have come to me? Yes, oh, What do you think of me? <laughs> Huh? Now you have come and seen me, what do you think? <laughs> and uh, I had the audacity to tell him, Swamiji, I was a little disappointed. <laughs> huh? 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 What? Disappointed of me? Huh? With me? Why? What is that problem? Having heard a lot about you and the great Mahan Mahesh Maharishi in Himalayas, I came to see you and I thought I expected you to sit in a big throne, just meditating, and I had to wait for half an hour before you open your eyes and then say, Ah, who are you? Something like that in a sort of preserved tone. But you were playing, running around and huh, making me idli coffee and joking. Oh, I see, you were disappointed. I am sorry. <coughs> <laughs> ah, Vargo. Huh. He started immediately acting like a bit. <laughs> but yeah, are, am I right now? <laughs> No, Swamiji, I like the other one. This I have seen many, but I haven't seen that. I like that. Oh, so I can be the same old person back. Yes, Swamiji. What do you, what do you do? Do you learn, do a little yoga, Hatha yoga? Yes, Swamiji, I used to practice a little Hatha Yoga. I learned from books in South India. Ah, good, all right. So you be in charge of my Hatha Yoga department. <laughs> right away. <laughs> Within a few months, I had been promoted to Raja Yoga professorship. And I have been given Yogi Raj title also. Some time I was very proud in using that. I would never uh, leave that without using in my name. Everybody has Yogi Raj Swami Satchitananda. That's how you lift people up, huh? inspire them. Huh? His ways are totally different, huh? unique. You don't see this kind of image in any scriptures or anywhere else. 
Nobody ever lived like that, and I don't think anybody is still now. He is only, there is only one Shivananda. We were very, very fortunate. In being with him, getting blessed by him. We never, even this kind of regular satsang, he will come, ask somebody, Chidanji, you talk. Krishnanji, you talk. He will ask others to talk. He will just, to at the end, he will say some bhajan or one or two words. He never gave much satsang. But when once he begins to talk, he will be roaring like a lion. You immortal self of Atman, blessed souls, his tone itself will be very different at that time. Otherwise, always on the road, on the way, and then near Ganges Bank or somewhere in the work area, as you meet somewhere, you will immediately stop there and say a few words, do this, do this, this is the way, this is the way. That is the way he, he taught. Never as a regular classroom, though we have Yoga Vedanta Forest University, we have. We were all professors. We made us do all that. <laughs> Very, very, very simple. But his blessings itself was enough. And he is still continuing to take care of us all. In fact, his presence is here. He is so thrilled seeing you all. We were simple, ordinary folks. We, he made us into big things. Om. Practical way to self-realization. Beloved immortal self, thou art divine, live up to it. Feel and realize thy divine nature. Thou art the master of your destiny. Do not be discouraged when sorrows, difficulties and tribulations manifest in the daily battle of life. Draw courage and spiritual strength from within. There is a vast inexhaustible magazine of power and knowledge within. Learn the ways to tap the source. Dive deep within. Sink down. Plunge in the sacred waters of immortality. The holy to remain within. You will be quite refreshed, renovated and vivified when you go to the Divine Source and realize, I am the immortal Self or Atman. Understand the laws of the universe. Move tactfully in this world. Learn the secrets of nature. Try to know the best ways to control the mind. Conquer this mind. Conquest of mind is really conquest of nature and the world. Conquest of mind will enable you to go to the source of soul power and you can then realize I am immortal self or Atman. Do not murmur. Do not grumble when troubles and sorrows descend upon you. Every difficulty is an opportunity for you to develop your will and to grow strong. Welcome it. Difficulties strengthen your will, augment your power of endurance, and turn your mind towards God. Face them with a smile. In your weakness lies your real strength. The word invincible, nothing can harm you. Conquer the difficulties one by one. This is the beginning of a new life, a life of expansion, glory, and divine splendor. Aspire and draw. Grow, expand, build up all positive, virtuous qualities, the Devi Sampati, namely fortitude, patience and courage that are dormant in you. Start a new life, 
tread the spiritual path and realize I am the immortal self or Atman. The essential nature is such than existence absolute, knowledge absolute and bliss absolute. This outer clock, this mortal physical sheath, is an illusory mayaic production, smile, whistle, laugh, jump, dance in joy and ecstasy. Sing Om Om Om, Ram Ram Ram, Sham Sham Sham, Shivoham Shivoham Shivoham, Soham Soham Soham, come out of this cage of flesh, the word not this perishable body, the word the immortal self Atman, the word sexless Atman, the word the son of king of kings, an emperor of emperors, Brahma who punishes the Atman who dwells in the chambers of your heart, Arre Guha. Act as such, feel as such, claim your breath right now from this very second. Feel as such, recognize, realize, not for tomorrow or the day after, but right now from this very second. Tattvamasi, Dawar, that was Narajan, Dawar, immortal self or Atman. Brother, courage is thy birthright and not fear. Peace is thy divine heritage, not restlessness. Immortality, but not mortality. Strength, but not weakness. Health, but not disease. Bliss, but not sorrow. Knowledge, but not ignorance. You are the architect of your own fate and fortune. You are the master of your own destiny. You can do and undo things. You can attain Brahmanhood by right thinking, right feeling, right acting. You can break all the barbed habits by the power of will. You can destroy wrong samskaras. Unholy desires, wrong imagination, you can build new habits, you can change your nature, you can build a beautiful character, you can move the whole world by your spiritual force, you can elevate others also to the status of divinity, you can control the force of nature. <laughs>